Hi guys, today I thought I'd give you a little tour of where we are staying in Singapore. We are staying at Bayshore Park and I think there's a storm brewing and it could like all of a sudden, well there is a storm brewing, I just heard thunder, it could all of a sudden start pissing down on me. I'm just at the bottom of our building there. We're staying in Singapore on a work away. If you don't know, I'll put the website top line description down below. It's where you volunteer a certain amount of time and in exchange like you stay with the family or you stay with people and they give you free accommodation and free food which is a fantastic way of travelling. Me and Stephen have done quite a few of these now and we really enjoy it every single time. Like I said, we're staying in Bayshore Park which is um, a large condominium area with we like six high rises and it's like a gated community. It's by East Coast Park which is a really nice area of Singapore. It's kind of out of the city centre a little bit. There's some beaches down there and we can go and cycle and like walks and things. It's really nice. Here is our building that we are staying in. I think it's 32 storeys high. Let's go inside and I'll take you up to our floor and show you our place. So this is obviously just the little lobby area where you can get the lift. There's three lifts up here or quite often I've been going through that door up the many flights of stairs. So out of the lift and up on the 28th floor this is our like little lobby area here. The view is normally pretty nice but it's very windy, rainy, foggy today and also this is our little passageway here down to our house we can have a little view out to the sea there which is nice and then if we just walk down here this is the gate to us there are two condos there's one there and then this is ours oh hello and we have two little dogs so as we come in there's just kind of this little hallway here there's a fridge and um, like cooking stuff in there that is our bedroom. I'll show you in a second. Stephen's in there at the moment. And it's all kind of just open plan, really. There's the kitchen. Excuse the mess. We've been like making bread and stuff this morning. Nice size kitchen, which obviously we're kind of welcome to use and to cook whatever we want. Food is all provided in terms of like the ingredients and everything, but we have to cook our own stuff, which is fine. I quite like that. And then up here is a lounge area again kind of in a little bit of a mess so just ignore any mess but the sofas and there's the balcony out here that is the person who lives here that's her bedroom and her bathroom and that so i won't show you in there we've got the balcony out here again it's not the best of views it's normally much nicer than this nice and sunny but and it's noisy as well i don't know why oh yeah that's why it's noisy they're doing some construction down there i don't know it's pretty nice sitting up here of an evening, or just when the sun's out actually. It's nice. So then back inside, hey you, you need to go for a walk, it's raining. Back inside, I'll show you the bathroom. Through here is Ben's room, the boy that lives here, and then we have bathroom with shower, toilet, obviously. Uh, washing machine that we can use whenever we want sink out here and I'll show you our bedroom there's Stephen chilling, doing nothing this is our, I'm just doing a little tour of our place and this is our bedroom which we do actually share with someone who sleeps up on the top bunk but I kind of thought it was going to be an issue for me sort of sharing but it hasn't been at all really so that's the house hopefully it will stop raining i can give you a little tour of the grounds and kind of what is in our kind of gated little community area back downstairs into all the communal area and i'll show you around what we have stephen has gone to the pool so i think first of all we will head over to the pool we actually have two pools one of them has is where like the shops and the cafe area is and we get wi-fi there so that's why we tend to go to that one and the other one is just pool they're kind of, they're both like the same sort of size, really. There's not that much difference in them. I will show you the cafe area and that pool first. So here you can go through into the cafe there or over to the pool. So in fact, we'll go into the cafe first 
So in here there's various different like little food places that you can get different things from. You can get snacks, Indian drinks, Western and Chinese food. There are showers and toilets there. There's a gym up those stairs, but I am not allowed to use that gym because I'm a guest, I'm not a resident. Here's the toilets and the showers. Not really much to show in here, other than the fact that there's some shower cubicles and some toilet cubicles. There is actually steam room, but again, I'm not allowed to use it, I don't think. There's quite a few squash courts that you can hire out. I think it's something like three dollars for an hour or something, which is something like one pound fifty or something. So that's pretty cool. Although we haven't done it because we have no equipment. And then I think over this side there's more squash courts down there, and then there is a little gym. If you watched my vlog the other day where I went to the gym here, it was this gym that I used. That's down in some unused. Oh look, table tennis. I never even knew that they had table tennis here. Oh, Stephen loves table tennis. I wonder if you can get the um, get the racket things, whatever they're called, back things off them. But in, is it this one? Yeah, this one. Kind of the weights bit of the gym. And in this one, like the cardio area of the gym. And I got everything you need, it's quite good really. And then this is the pool area. Obviously there's no one, oh yes, there's Stephen. I think it's Stephen anyway. There's no one else out here other than us crazy people. But it's nice. A little undercover area and the Wi-Fi reaches under here. So, when we, hello, that was quick. Then we've got out of the pool, quite often we just sit and chill, watching something for a little while. Are you going in the pool now or? Really? I don't go in it now, I'm not going to go in it later. Okay, good idea. I'll go and get changed then. We're out of the pool, it is raining quite hard now. This is our little kind of shop area where there's a shop and there's a bar and a few other little bits. We'll go in the shop first. I'm gonna go and buy Stephen a Magnum. I'll show you the shop. It's a pretty good shop to be honest. Hi. Hello, how are you? It's really quite big to be honest, the shop. It's got like a frozen section which is freezing in because I'm soaking from the pool and the rain and it's air conned and it's really cold and then obviously fridge where I've managed to buy some tofu from which was excellent it kind of has really got everything it's got balls, water guns you kind of don't ever really need to move off this complex to be honest if you live here you can get everything that you need here bit of fruit not the best selection, but it's got a bit. Ooh. And veg as well. Oh my goodness, I'm so cold. Right, crisps, Stephen wanted some crisps. So that's the shop. And then we have a little bar here, which I've never been in. No idea what it's like. It's food as well, I think. Yeah, you can get food there. And then there's also, I don't want to walk there where the rain <laughs> can come through. I'm going to walk on the outside. But there's like a massage place over there. Whoa, nearly fell over. Slipped on the rain. There's laundry. Another cafe place over there. I'm going to head back over to the pool. The pool is kind of through there and just that way. On our way over to pool number two, and as you can see there's a little footy pitch there that is quite often used over night to be honest, when it gets dark and it's cooler. And the grounds, really quite pretty. Lots of water and there's fish in the water there. And there's a little kids play area here that again at night is really, really busy once the uh, sun's gone down. All the little kids come out here to play. There's this one here and there's another one over here, that's got sand underneath it, some swings and seesaws and stuff. 
pretty nice. And then the pool, the other pool is just ahead up here. Here is the second pool area. Like I said, this one's always much quieter because it's not got like the cafe in that next to it. It's got like a little seating area, undercover seating area over there. It's nice. It's gotten much later now, as you can see, it's gotten dark. I hope you enjoyed having a little tour around where we are staying. I am heading back upstairs now. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.